So today we're going to share with you the best way to get max points on squad battles on legendary difficulty. Now there's a few things that you need to do if you want to target this and the first thing that is probably one of the most important things is you need to have a top tier team. If you don't have a good team, Legendary is really difficult to play. With the halves being shortened from 6 minutes to 4 minutes, you have a lot less time to be able to score goals, get assists, get clean sheets and do all the things you need to do to get good points. So therefore you need to have a really good team if you want to get top points. The next thing that a lot of people will probably overlook is you need to have a good bench, especially if you get to half time and you're really struggling. You've got to be able to have some good subs that you can call on to be able to change the game for you. And then the next thing that is super important that a lot of people will again probably overlook is you need to have a really good setup of game plans ready for the game. Now you can see we've got four really good game plans here set. We've got an ultra defensive formation, a defensive formation and an attacking formation. Now the defensive and the attacking formation are our two starter formations and then we have an ultra attacking formation for when things get tough. Another thing that's really important before we get into any gameplay aspects is you need to go into the game settings in the main menu and make sure you've got legendary difficulty selected but make sure that you've got competitor mode and player based difficulty turned off otherwise this is going to make playing legendary almost impossible. But before we actually get into the gameplay, one last thing that you need to make sure that you try and do, especially early on in the game cycle, is have a look through all of your opponents and try and play Legendary against the really low rated, low chem teams. This team is a really good example. You can see they've got all silvers, they've got players out of position, there's no chemistry, there's just a load of really bad players here. And this is a team that's going to give you the best opportunity to actually win. If you try and play against some of the full gold squads and the really high end teams on Legendary, you're gonna struggle especially at this stage of the game and especially if you don't have that good team that we mentioned before now that we get into some of the gameplay things and how to actually beat legendary and what we need to do in terms of to get max points on the squad battles now the most important thing in any game is to make sure you get five goals now ultimately it depends on what your goal is when you're trying to get these points like if you're someone that's trying to go for top 100 the top leaderboards then you need to be able to get five goals you need to get clean sheets you need to have 10 shots on target you need to make sure you have 10 corners as well and that's going to maximize what you can do but for most people that aren't going to try and go for leaderboards i would always recommend just try and look at the five goals try and go for the five goals that is the most important thing that's more important than a clean sheet the goals will give you the maximum amount of points so if even if you win a game 5-1 it's better to win a game 5-1 than for example to win 3-0 so make sure that you always try and get the goals first then once you've got the five goals this is why we recommend having lots of different tactics having a more defensive tactic so once you have the five goals swap and change into that 5-4-1 formation that we had for example and then just hang on for the clean sheet in terms of actually the gameplay itself the ai is exceptionally good on legendary at getting the ball we play on a press on possession loss in our main formation and even though you can see some really good examples of us pressing the ai really really well and putting it in some tough positions it still manages to play out of our press so we still recommend playing on a press it's the best way we actually did create a lot of chances and quite a few of our goals did come from us pressing the ai and getting the ball but it is very good at playing out of your press so you've got to make sure that you play on a press and have lots of different ways to be able to attack the ai now in terms of scoring goals the most effective way to actually score goals against the ai is we found down the wing make sure you have pacey players on the wing you don't necessarily have to have wingers we obviously have leroy sane but he plays in sort of a wide cam role make sure you use pace up the wings because the ai doesn't really get back and defend too well and crossing is so overpowered that we obviously have that inform Lewandowski that we packed yesterday and if you whip crosses in you can get a lot of really easy goals so make sure when you're attacking in the against the AI try and attack down the wings and look for crosses and cutbacks are still really really effective so make sure you go up the wing look for the cutbacks look for crosses to your really clinical strikers as we said earlier on in the video obviously there is a lot less time in the game before it was six minute halves now it's only four minute half so it's also really important that probably the best player in your team needs to be your attackers your strikers the guys that score the goals because those halves have been shortened you're not going to have as many opportunities to score obviously it's four minutes less per game so you're going to get less chances overall so when you do get chances you've got to be really clinical you can't afford to be you know missing chances hitting the post putting it wide 
you know, having the keeper save it because you're going to get a lot less opportunities. So you've got to make sure that you really take those chances. We like to use a lot of the crossbody finesse shots that are really important. So where you look like you're going to shoot to the right hand side and you whip it back to the left hand side, that's a really effective way to score. Of course, Travella shots are really, really overpowered again this year, especially when you've got a player like Lewandowski that can use those Travella shots. It's really, really effective. But like we said, using cutbacks and using crosses is also a great way to score. I wouldn't recommend trying to use things like skill moves and trying to overcomplicate it. The best way to play against the AI is just to play simple, quick passing. And like we said, utilize that speed up the wing. Again, going back to what we said at the start, don't be too concerned about the clean sheet because the AI sometimes, as we've seen in this example right here, the AI sometimes, even though it's got low-end silvers and bronzes, they're going to score some silly goals. You're going to have like a 56 rated bronze that's going to score a screamer or they're going to be able to, you know, ticky-tacka their way around you even though they're players that are off chemistry and just super low rated. They're still going to be able to sometimes get a goal that you just can't seem to stop. So we always recommend going for those five goals don't worry too much about the clean sheets. And then if you've got the five goals, just shoot from distance. This is again to get the shots on target. Make sure that instead of once you've got the five goals, get to sort of about 25, 30 yards out and just hit a shot that's on target to make sure you get those extra points. Sometimes the keeper will parry it behind for a corner and sometimes they won't, but it just gives you that extra little bonus points to be able to get that score that you need. And that's really all you need when it comes to trying to get max points on squad battles. So we gave away some really good tips here and just highlight them again. Make sure you've got a really good team. Make sure you've got some good subs on the bench. Make sure you've got a lot of the different formations. And then when you're actually playing the game, make sure you focus on trying to get those five goals first and then the clean sheet is secondary. And in terms of actually scoring the goals, make sure you have a really clinical finisher, utilize Travella shots, utilize cutbacks and crosses and make sure you attack up the wing with speed. They're going to be your best bets to try and score goals and just be clinical when you get those shots on target. If you do these things, you're going to be able to maximize your points, get 2,500 to 2,850 points depending on the team that you play against and you're going to be getting some really top tier rewards.